Hey, what's up guys? Houston here. Look, if you're looking for a credit card to start rebuilding your credit file because you uh, have a thin credit file or you're just starting out building your credit or you had somebody working on your credit and they took all the positive accounts off along with the bad accounts so now you have a thin credit file well then mission lane credit card may be an option for you okay and the reason i'm saying that is because mission lane is one of those cards they don't charge you that upfront fee so you know those credit cards that are like they charge you half of the uh credit card up front on in fees and then they still charge you an annual fee on top of that then they may charge you a monthly fee on top of that they have all of these fees just to use their credit card so they'll give you a three hundred dollar credit card but by the time you get the opportunity to use it it's only a hundred dollars okay so i hope that some of you all can re relate to what i'm saying about those type of cards that help build your credit but at the same time you don't really get to utilize the card when you first get it now in reference to mission lane card when they give you a credit limit you can start using it right then and there no upfront fees or whatever they do charge an annual fee the annual fee can go anywhere from zero up to 59 dollars a year but they don't charge you a monthly fee like a lot of these other credit cards they don't have any hidden fees okay so that's the reason that i'm reviewing this now in terms of how you actually get the card they do a soft pull you can do a pre-qual to see if you qualify now one of the things they look at is a having at least a, a fair credit fair credit so at least a 580 credit score okay some people stated that they have got the card with only a 300 uh credit score all right but at least if you have a 580 credit score or higher you have a better chance of being approved not saying you won't be approved if you have a lesser credit score but i'm just saying they said they mostly focus on a fair credit score so i just gotta be transparent about that all right now if you actually accept the card more likely you will see a hard inquiry on your transunion credit file all right now here's one thing about it with a mission lane credit card that most people they probably not taking advantage of say that you're paying your rent okay and say that mission lane decides to say hey what we'll do we'll give you a 700 dollars credit card and say your rent is 500 what you can do so that you can get two trade lines out of this you can have your mission lane credit card set up on plastic p-l-a-s-t-i-q Okay, you set it up on plastic and have your rent payments have a check paid over to your renter. So instead of you paying money orders and paying with cash, that stuff doesn't report on your personal credit. You need to have your rent reporting. So if you use your Mission Lane credit card, hook it up with plastic. They plastic does charge a small fee or whatever, but have them to actually send a check out from your credit card okay then that way those transactions can be picked up and you can have that reporting on your credit file so that way you get two trade lines out of it okay now in terms of credit limit increases one of the bigger challenges i see a lot of people say well i had this card for x amount of time and i still haven't got a credit limit increase well here's the thing that i want you to do if you're looking to get a credit line increase uh with mission lane this is the thing that i would suggest that you do i would pull my credit file okay and what i would do all of my open revolving accounts from the smallest account to the largest account don't worry about the interest rate i would try to pay those accounts down to zero or at least ten percent now the reason you want this to happen is because it's going to lower your debt to income ratio and it's also going to push up your credit score all right now i'm focusing on mainly on the revolving accounts credit card accounts is what i'm mainly focusing on okay so you can have a bigger impact one of the reasons more people they get low limit credit cards whether it's from mission lane or any other creditor is because they have too many open revolving all right so to be safe i would definitely tell you to uh set up all your small revolving accounts and try to pay them down to zero all right now here's the thing about with mission lane one of the things uh that they do look at is actually if you utilize the card 
Many people, they would get the card because it's a low limit. They won't even use the card. So the thing about it, Mission Lane looking like, okay, if you're not going to use the card, why are we going to give you more money? All right. So I would tell you as an individual that's actually get approved for the card is to use at least 10%. All right. You don't have to use 30 percent, at least 10 percent. Again, the reason 10 percent is the magic number, because it helps your credit score go up higher, not the 30 percent. The 30 percent utilization, it does have an impact, a positive impact, lower than 30 percent. But I always tell people, if you can get it under 10 percent, then you have a better chance of getting a higher credit score on your credit file, as well as with other lenders like Mission Lane looking at your credit to be able to extend you more credit. But if you get a credit card and you don't use it, then that's what they're looking at. Well, we gave you, even if they give you $300 and you don't use it, then why would you expect them to give you $1,000? So that's the reality of it. You actually have to use the card. Here's something that you do have to understand. Like their interest rate, it's kind of high. It's between 26.99 and 28.99. But at the same time, if you're rebuilding your credit, you have a thin credit file, okay? Or you don't have no accounts and you're trying to be able to add positive trade lines to your credit, Mission Lane may be one of those cards you want to take a look at, all right? Now, also, not only just uh, having uh, open revolving credit cards on your credit file, you also want to have like a loan. Whether it's a secured loan or an unsecured loan, you also want to have a loan to help balance out your credit file. That's very important. So whether it's secured or unsecured, you should have a loan on your credit file as well. All right. Now, like I said, with Mission Lane, again, I know people, are tr their, their biggest challenge is trying to get access to more capital, right? But using this here card, paying it, keeping it under 10%, that will give you more leverage for other creditors to give you higher limit credit cards, all right? Now, if you have any other questions about business credit funding, personal credit funding, click the link in the description and check out the miscellaneous credit card. So see if you qualify for it. Again, it's not a, a hard credit card to get. So for those of you trying to rebuild your credit, I think it's an opportunity that you can take advantage of so that you can start building. One more thing that I forgot to mention that another way to help possibly help you secure an increase. Now, Mission Lane has a debit card, so you can bank with them or put money on a debit card with them. So if they see that you actually have a debit card and you have a credit card and you're paying your uh, credit card on time using the debit card transactions, this can also, this may also influence them to give you a higher credit line increase as well. All right. So this is Houston with Three Way Funding. If you have any other questions about business credit funding, personal credit funding, click the link in the description. Schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Thank you.